Hey, this is Rob with Mongrel Bees. I'll do this video in two different ways. I can tend to ramble and give you lots of information. This is a short version. So, candy boards, two and five eighths, make it uh, to the outside dimensions of your hive. Uh, the cloth inside is one quarter inch hardware cloth. Um, you can normally get two pieces out of each linear piece. So, I uh, side by side uh, out of a three foot section. The way I do these, it's a 3 8 inch rabbit joint. And then I've added the support members underneath so that the metal doesn't sag on top of the hive. And so the bees have an option to, if they're clustering right in the center, they can work there and that cluster can stay up there and get it. Uh, when I make the, the actual sugar um, slushy, uh, you think of it like an icy at, at 7-Eleven, somewhere around that kind of consistency. Some people do it drier. Uh, it just depends on what you're doing. What I use is a mud mixer on the heavy duty drill. And this seems to work better for me than the other types of mixers that I have. Like this one would be great for paint, but I, I just don't think it would actually work for the, for the sugar. When it comes to actual sugar mix, um, it just kind of looks like this. So. This is a clump of sugar. I can actually kind of form it into a ball. You can actually see that. Um, and I just basically fill up the tray. The trick is to use the tissue paper at Christmas. So I bought a huge pack of this tissue paper. Um, some people use newspaper. I like this stuff. One side has a slight shininess to it. I actually put that shininess side up. I think it holds a, a tiny amount of extra moisture. And I overlap these and I put them in and I put all the sugar straight on top of it. And the bees will eat right through this paper. There's almost nothing to it. And it doesn't fall apart like a uh, newspaper does, but they would still eat through this. So Christmas paper, um, lining inside of it, and then pouring the sugar. I take it almost right up the edge and then I stick it on the hives. Um, I do mix in just a quarter cup of honey from uh, one of my healthier hives. Well, they're all healthy. Um, sometimes I'll add a little bit of probiotic, uh, mix in there. Um, this stuff, uh, Rooster Booster, uh, you can get it off of Amazon. It's, it's got vitamins, electrolytes, some lactobacillus, um, just to keep them healthy during the winter, kind of help with that dysentery potential. So this is the short video, short if you get it. If you want a lot more information and rambling, uh, click in the long video.